Hi, Michael Petrovich, Petrovich Team Home Loan. Um, today I'm going to do the five steps to gain a conventional loan in Omaha, Nebraska. So uh, these are really the steps for any loan, um, not just conventional, but uh, conventional is going to be more particular about credits, um, income assets like that, stuff like that. So it's important to have all the stuff together um, before you make an offer on the house. That's kind of the theme of um, all the steps here. So number one, gather your documentation together. So while you're looking for a house online, while you're just kind of starting your, your home search, start to get your stuff together. Start to just kind of locate, you know, where your W-2s are, where your tax returns are. I know when I had to buy my house, um, I didn't know where I put my tax returns last. I had to call my accountants, um, W-2s. I couldn't find my W-2s, so I had to go back to the accountant also. Um, I had never printed out a bank statement, so we need actual bank statements, not just a, an online printout. So I had to go kind of figure all that stuff out um, after I made the offer. Get all that stuff together, Not maybe not necessarily print it off, but at least have it ready to go so that when you are ready to move on it, um, it's all in one location, so you can uh, you can just forward it off uh, right away. So income documentation, uh, pay stubs. Obviously, we're in your, your most recent pay stubs. So any pay stub you have now, if you're not going to make an offer for a while, it's going to be no good. But at least you know start saving your pay stubs. I know you know people get their pay stubs, they look at it, or maybe they have them online, they don't look at them, the money just gets deposited. Um, at least know where to get your pay stubs or start saving those so you're ready to go uh, when you make an offer. Same with the W-2s. Have your last two years W-2s ready to go. So um, save them in a file. If you don't have them, you know put them in with, uh, a folder with your tax returns. So you have those ready to go. Um, assets, just like I talked about uh, for your bank, uh, just make sure you know how to get an actual bank statement. A lot of times people will call, you know, they'll say, I, I don't know how to, I don't have actual bank statements. You do, your bank has them and they're probably online. They're just in a different section that which you're used to looking at. They're not in this, the transaction summary. There's gonna be a sidebar somewhere. Almost every bank has it. Um, it's going to have a way to print out a PDF of your bank statements or just save a PDF of your bank statements and send it over to me. So you do have a copy of those and we need the actual bank statements, not a printout. Um, credit. So I really, you really can't see your credit until, um, until I get the full credit until I pull it. But what you can do is you can go to Credit Karma. Credit Karma is not very accurate for um, credit scores, but it'll tell you what's on your credit report. So you can kind of have, you know, know up front before you have your credit pulled um, what you're working with. So, I mean, I pull credit a lot of times. People um, are not even aware they have a credit card that's been making automatic minimum payments for a while. Maybe they've been actually missing a payment on a credit card. So they weren't aware that was out there, that it's still out of balance. Um, get that stuff in order so you know what debts are on are showing on your credit report and roughly what the payments are and where the balances are at. Um, okay, step two, uh, start a conversation with a mortgage loan officer. So you don't have to do an application. You don't have to do the, you know, the, the full approval, but just reach out to, to someone um, and just kind of tell them what, you, you know, what your time frame is, uh, that you're really just looking for um, some information. Um, you, you know, you don't want the hard sell. So just let, let them know that, you know, hey, I'm not ready yet, but I just want to talk to somebody. Um, a good loan officer would be more than happy to do that. Uh, put you in their database, just kind of, you know, send you information when, when you need it, um, kind of follow up with some soft touches, but but not really, you know, do the hard sell, you need to buy something right now um, type of type of situation. Uh, talk, you know, you know, fire all your questions at me, you know, no matter how, no matter how small, no matter how stupid you think they are, um, ask the questions rather than just making assumptions. Because if you don't ask that, the loan officer is going to assume that you already know the answer to it. Um, and I think that brings us to, oh, not quite to our next one. So uh, the next one, uh, number three, Fully disclose everything to your loan officer. So um, I think there's a, there's, I'm not sure you know, if it's just, you forget about some minor financial issues uh, or financial things that, that are not really day-to-day -day financial issues um, that you just forget to tell the loan officer. Um, or maybe you're thinking, well, it's not important for the loan um, because that's over here and they didn't ask for it specifically. So um, they don't need it. If they didn't ask for it, they don't need it. But if there's something that, that you know about as far as, you know, Debts you pay that are not on your credit report, say, you know, common one, obviously, is, is child support, a tax lien, um, some sort of judgment. Um, th those are going to be discovered later on down the road. Um, and usually when it's too late to, um, uh, to still close on time, you know, then right away I find those week before closing, two weeks before closing. So telling your loan officer up front will allow everyone to kind of game plan uh, for those things. If you know you're going to be quitting your job in two months, um, let them know that. You know, that's, that's okay to let the loan officer know, and they can figure out how to work the loan the best way. So... Always be honest with the loan officer so they can help you structure the loan. Now that brings us to the fourth one, um, asking questions. Ask lots of questions. So um, no matter how small the question, no matter how silly you think it is, I'd rather you ask, I'd rather you call me with, with or email me with dozens of questions rather than um, just assume something and we get to the end and um, it causes an issue. So um, an example in here um, that I put was um, I had a, I had a buyer that had a, a non-occupying co-signer, someone that was co-signing for him that was going to just, uh, so we could use their income to qualify the buyer. So he, right before we were about to sit, submit the contract, he casually mentioned 
that uh, the co-signer was taking a sabbatical from work and going to do some volunteer work in Costa Rica uh, for six plus months. Um, guy just said it off the cuff, uh, but as soon as I heard that, um, I, you know, well, what's he going to do for income? He's like, well, he's, he's not going to have any income while he's down there. He's just going to, you know, be doing volunteer work. Now he's not a co-signer anymore. We can't use his income because he's going to be off of work. Even though he's going to go back to work in six months, if we're going to, if he's not going to be working when we close, we can't use that income. Now we found that out right before we submitted and we were able to figure something out. Um, but if I had heard about that and we'd found out that he was no longer at his job a week or two weeks before closing, we would have had a big issue. So fully disclose, ask lots of questions. Um, another example of where um, I was able to ask a question that, that kind of prevented a deal from going, going south later on down the road was uh, a client that said she received child support. She brought, up, she brought the application that she received child support. I confirmed with her the amounts. She gave me all her documents. What was not in her, her, pile, her stack of documents was, um, was a child support. So I reached out to her and I, and I reiterated that I need the, the court decree and I need proof of payment. And it's then that she mentioned, well, he just pays me directly with cash. Now, can't use that. It has to be a court order decree. It has to be official. So we had to back that income out of the um, out of her approval and adjust the amount she was approved for. So that's something that could have caused a lot of issues if I hadn't asked the right questions before she got a contract. So asking questions, fully disclosing, huge, big, uh, very important. Most important part of the, the loan process is fully disclosing on both sides, asking all the questions um, so that we can make sure everyone is on the same page with your financial and, uh, and credit picture. Okay, and this final one, uh, number five, uh, just have everything in order. Uh, um, again, just uh, before you make an offer, um, you know, a lot of times I, I get I get offers, uh, people outside the house ready to make an offer that need to get pre-approved, and you know they gotta they gotta spend two weeks to get their documents together. I mean, that's just uh, it's gonna cause delays. It's gonna cause it's gonna cause uh, a stressful situation. Um, it could cause uh, something could pop up, and that and while we're getting those documents together, that much like that child support um, or that Costa Rica story I just told you that um, mean you don't you no longer qualify for that house. So you made an offer, you did all this work, and now um, that issue popped up while you're under contract, right? It's a huge issue. So uh, make sure everything is together um, before you make make an offer, before you start finding that perfect house, get everything together, get it over to your loan officer, uh, make sure you're ready to go. Okay. So if you are looking to purchase a home in Omaha, Nebraska, I'm local. I'm happy to sit down with you, happy to do a phone call or sit down um, either at my office or at a coffee shop and just go over the process. Um, I guess, you know, just reach out to me. All right. Thank you.